Alhamdulillahi wahna Wassalatu wassalamu ala abdihi wa rasulihi Nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Amma ba'd Every year when Ramadan comes We hear the famous statement That the month is divided into three parts But is this really the case? There is a narration that people carelessly and widely quote in support of such claim. It says, "Si akhir yawmin min Shaaban, faqal ayuha nasu kud azal lakum shahrun azimun shahrun mubarak, wa huwa shahrun awaluhu rahmatun wa awsatuhu maghfiratun wa akhiruhu idkun min al nar." On the last day of Shaaban, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allegedly said, "O oh people, a great month has come upon you, a blessed month. It is the month, the beginning of which is mercy, its middle is forgiveness, and its end is emancipation from the hellfire." First of all, this narration is reported by Ibn Khuzaim, and after collecting the report and narrated it, he said, "In haza sahi," meaning, if this report is authentic, then this is what the Prophet said. So the fact that Ibn Khuzaimah mentions that statement of doubt, it is clear indication that he himself wasn't sure of the soundness of what he reported. Moreover, scholars of hadith and verification analyzed the report with utmost scrutiny before coming to the conclusion that such report is baseless since its text and chain of narrators are defective. The first problem with this report is that it contradicts a very basic concept on the mercy of Allah. As Muslims, we believe that nothing can ever take place without Allah's mercy, and this is from the fundamental teaching of the Prophet, as he establishes in an authentic hadith that is muttafaqun alayd, agreed upon by the Sahihain Al Bukhari and Muslim. It says, "An Aisha the Zawj al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam." سددوا وقاربوا وأبشروا فإنه لن يدخل الجنة أحدا عمله. On the authority of Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reported, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Follow the right course, be devoted, and give glad tidings. Verily, none of you will enter paradise by his deeds alone." قالوا ولا أنت يا رسول الله قال ولا أنا إلا أن يتجمدني الله منه برحمة. They said. Not even you, O Messenger of Allah, the Prophet said. Not even me, unless Allah grants me His mercy. Now, if we say the first ten days of Ramadan deals with mercy and the second ten days have to do with forgiveness, then how can a Muslim be forgiven without the mercy of Allah? Similarly, with the third phase, how can one be set free from the hellfire without the mercy of Allah? So what we say is, from the very first day of Ramadan to the very last day of Ramadan are days of mercy. From the mercy of Allah comes forgiveness and freedom from the hellfire, and from the mercy of Allah comes all other virtues. What we ought to understand as well is, if we accept this weak and rejected report to be sung, then we are contradicting so many authentic hadiths, such as "Man saw my Ramadan iman wa ihtisab and ghafir lahu ma taqaddam min zambi, wa man qama laila al Qadr iman wa ihtisab and ghafir." Whoever fasts the months of Ramadan due to faith and seeking reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. Whoever stands in prayer during the night of decree due to faith and seeking reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. In another hadith, man qama Ramadan iman wa ihtisab and ghafir lahu ma taqaddam min zambi. Whoever stands in prayer during Ramadan due to faith and seeking reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. Yet in another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "In Ramadan, a month of fasting, if Allah Azza wa Jalla sees it, and I have sent to the Muslims to fast it, then man who fasts it and has faith and is exempted from the sins of the day of his birth." Verily, Ramadan is a month in which Allah Almighty has obligated its fasting. I have instituted for Muslims the practice of prayer at night. Thus, whoever fasted with faith and expecting reward will be expelled of sins like the day he was born from his mother. Yet, in another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam informs us. إن لله عتقاء في كل يوم وليلة يعني في رمضان كل عبد منهم دعوة مستجابة. Verily, Allah redeems His servants in every day and night of Ramadan. Every one among them has a supplication that will be answered. Pay attention to the key words of the Hadith: "Fi kulli yawmin, in every day, 
not awalul laylatin, the first night, or asulusul awal, the first, third, or the second, or the last portion of the month. Rather, the Prophet wasallam said, Allah redeems his servants and forgives them every single day and night of Ramadan. Still in another hadith, the Prophet wasallam tells us, As-salawatu al-khamsu wal-jumu'atu ila al-jumu'ati wa ramadanu ila ramadana mukathiratun ma baynahunna majtunibat al-kabair. The five daily prayers, Friday to Friday and Ramadan to Ramadan, will be expiation for the sins between them as long as major sins are avoided. We also have the hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ says, إِذَا كَانَ أَوَّلُ لَيْلَةٍ مِنْ شَهْرِ رَمَضَانَ سُفِّدَةِ الشَّيَاتِينُ وَمَرَدَةُ الْجِنْ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ فَلَمْ يُفْتَحْ مِنْهَا بَابٍ وَفُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ فَلَمْ يُغْلَقْ مِنْهَا بَابٍ وَيُنَادِ مُنَادٍ يَا بَاغِيَ الْخَيْرِ أَقْبِلْ وَيَا بَاغِيَ الشَّوْرِ أَقْسِرْ وَلِلَّهِ عُتَقَاءُ مِنَ نَارِ وَذَلِكَ كُلُّ لَيْلَةٍ on the first night of the month of Ramadan, the devils are chained, the jinns are restrained, and the gates of hellfire are closed, and none of its gates are open. The gates of paradise are open, and none of its gates are closed. A heavenly caller announces, O seeker of good, come near. O seeker of evil, stop short. Allah will save them from the hellfire. Then the Prophet wasallam made it crystal clear again, saying, وَذَلِكَ كُلُّ لَيْلَةٍ And all of that takes place in every single night of Ramadan. Clearly, each of these authentic texts reflects the vastness of Allah's mercy, forgiveness, and the granting of freedom from the hellfire. These virtues occur without any restriction as they are showered upon us from the very first instance of Ramadan to the very last moment of the month. Therefore, it is absolutely wrong to advocate the splitting of Ramadan in three equal parts, the first phase being Rahmah, the second phase is Maghfir, and the third phase being Itkun Minanar. This does not make any sense when we put it together with the concept of Rahman, and the profound importance of each blessed day, as explained in all those authentic hadiths which vividly illustrate the fact that the entire month is mercy from Allah, the entire month is forgiveness, and the entire month is also ransom from the fire. In fact, whenever the Prophet ﷺ would see the crescent moon that commences Ramadan, he would say, Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil yumni wal iman wa salamati wal islam rabbuna wa rabbukallah. O oh Allah, bring it over us with blessings and faith, safety and Islam. My Lord and your Lord is Allah. So in conclusion, none of these blessings and virtues of Ramadan are restricted to any one part of the month to the exclusion of any other parts. Allahumma sallimna min Ramadan wa sallim Ramadan lana wa tasallamhu minna mutaqabbala.